Hello everyone out in YouTube land. It's your girl Lily, and I'm back for another little video. Hopefully this is just a little quickie, but this is the way I am using my Louis Vuitton PM or Petite Model Agenda in the Monogram Canvas. I've had this for, oh my gosh, probably six years or more, and I purchased it, I know, on eBay for like $110 back then, but I use it for this purpose now, it used to be like a calendar and so forth, but I've gotten other agendas since then. So I'm attempting to save in another way. Like, of course, I do the retirement savings and I try to plug something in my savings account when I get paid and stuff like that. But this is just another little way that I'm going to try to save because I'm a spender. I'm a spender. I just spend. So uh, trying to get a grip. I did fall off the wagon because I had been doing this around this time last year, but I am hopping back on the wagon and this is what I'm doing. So when you open this guy and bear with me, cause I'm just going to film it quick with my, um, other hand holding the iPhone. Um, here we have just, uh, this is a business card from so much crafting where my inserts came from with little pieces of washi tape and a Kate Spade paperclip. And then this is just a little bow that I found on Etsy a few years back. Don't know, remember, don't know where that came from. Don't remember. Um, just some acetate, polka dotted acetate, little card stock with a couple stickers. So this is the month on two page from So Much Crafting on Etsy. And I, I thought, oh, I am really saving money because I didn't really use it in 2021. So I went back and just renumbered the calendar just so I could use it, use it again. But then I, I just kind of fell off. But anyways, guys, this is this is what I'm shooting for. So let's just pull this little guy out. We're in the month of September here. What I'd like to see on here are a bunch of zeros. That's what I'd like to see. But what I do is I simply mark down what I spent and what I spent it on. So here, Giant, and that's $41. So that's $41 spent at Giant Supermarket. I got to spend that. It, it, I got to eat. This is what I got out of the ATM. Jersey Mike's, I spent $10. Um, here I spent, that's Dunkin' Donut for $10. We had a family reunion where my donation was $25. And then when I was there, I gave a family member $25 and I have that labeled as a gift. But then we'll move on and hopefully I won't do like any spending. I took 120 out in hopes of having that cash in my pocket and only spending from that. And when I'm done, I'm done until here when I get paid again on the 16th. And usually I try to take like just $100 out and spend $50 a week. And that's kind of like miscellaneous stuff. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I just want to try a little harder, I guess, you know. So I'm thinking that because I'm sharing it with you, that maybe I'll somehow be held accountable for my actions. This is October of last year when I was trying this. So what I will do is I will go through with my little skill craft pencil. This is just a old mechanical pencil that I've had for 20 years just you know just a little one of those guys but I will go through and erase all this because this is from last year and I will actually change that 2021 20, to a 22 and I will go through and I will just number renumber all these again but last year there was wise market for $93 Wally -E is Walmart for us that was $42 my BMW that would have been gas for 48 um, but these zeros are days that I didn't spend anything. That's what I'm looking for. The more zeros that I see throughout the month, the better that I'm doing. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to achieve with trying to write down what I spend and try not to spend. So I see these things. That's that. And that's for this part. Then back here, what I did was I just purchased from the dollar store. Number six size envelopes, just plain. I do want to get vinyl envelopes, envelopes, but only when I know that I am serious 
and I am going to adhere to this way of saving money. So what I had been doing, what I plan on restarting is every time I get paid, I will take $100 out because I have five envelopes. I will take $100 out and I will put $20 in each envelope. If I do that for this month of September, I will have a total of $300 by the end of the month or $60 in each envelope by the end of the month. So that's decent savings for me. You know what I mean? You can save $300 you know what I mean? By the end of the month, I think that's decent savings for, for any of us that are that are trying to save a couple dollars. So anyway, these are my envelopes. I have five of them, like I said. And I just went through and put um, just stickers. This was just a big sticker. Start each day with a grateful heart. And then some of them I just put stickers or washi tape. Just to deck them up a little bit because they were just plain envelopes. So the first one is beauty. Now... When I had hair, because those of you that have watched, you know, a few of my videos saw that COVID video. So before COVID hair loss, I was getting my hair colored every six weeks. And then I would get just, just get different treatments, keratin treatment or highlights or something. So I had an envelope for beauty and that was just for that, just for hair and maybe nails, you know. So we'll go back to that less the hair but I'll probably I probably won't do nails because we're headed to colder weather and I'll be wearing gloves I wear gloves on my job and my nails if I had any length to them would go right through those knit gloves so beauty in whatever form my eyebrows whatever the second envelope is household and that's that's just that household uh microwave I got a washer a few months back um if I didn't save up enough money to, to pay for the whole washer, at least what I had accumulated in here, I could have put towards it, you know what I'm saying, to help um, lessen that that financial blow or whatever you want to call it. I don't want to call it a blow and be all drastic about it, but, you know, it would have been a little less money having to take out a savings or whatever. So that's household. And then vehicles, plural, I have two of them. This envelope is for, now I don't take gas or anything out of this envelope. Maybe you would want to. Um, but this is for something that I need, like the BMW had to have brakes. Uh, I would probably take that out of here or take out what I had accumulated to, you know, help me take less out of savings or what have you. So... Yeah, but just your regular gasoline, your inspection, things like that. Hopefully they don't need anything, but you know, that kind of stuff I just pay for just out of checking or whatever. Then the next one is vacation. And this is just money that I would use on vacation for souvenirs. If I only had a little bit saved up or if I had more than, you know, pay for or help pay for airline tickets, whatever, but for vacation. And then the last one is miscellaneous, and it's just that. Uh, birthday present, wedding present, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. So I would take from this envelope. So I didn't have to touch my main savings account or even my checking account because I even do a thing where I try to, any money left over at the end of my two weeks in my checking account, I start a new slate. I take that money out, put it in savings, and then start with my new paycheck. So that helps me save. I'm all about saving. I know I've mentioned in a video or two, I'm on my way to retirement. So Lord spares me. I hope to retire in a year and 10 months. And I want my ducks to be in a row and I want my spending habits to be in check so I can live out retirement comfortably. So that's, you know, main reason for trying to get back on this, this wagon and, and do the right thing. So that's that envelope. And they're just, like I said, number six size envelopes. I did a little hole punch deal here. And yeah, when I get on the wagon and stay on the wagon, I will then get those vinyl top load envelopes and, you know, have it to look a little better or 
I might just save money and keep on using these, right? <laughs> And then back here, I just have get it done. These are also two-sided, you know, just list things to do, whatever. This is so much crafting uh, things to do. Let's get it done. And, and that's it. I just use these for making little notes. Sometimes I found myself adding and subtracting, whatever. This is just a paper clip I found at five below one time, time ago. But at any rate, so that's it, guys. That's what I'm doing to try to save save a couple dollars uh, a different way. If you have any questions, of course, or comments, if you're like, oh, man, you should have this kind of envelope or try this or that. I just don't want to get in depth. I don't want to be, um, this isn't something I'm going to carry in my purse or anything like that. You know, I just thought that this is simple. This is like a simple thing to me. So if it helps you cool, if you can comment and help me cooler. But that's what I have, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for walking, but I got to go because that's my time. See ya.